All right, here with uh, Rivals 250 defensive lineman Jacoby Cowan, just committed to Ohio State a few minutes ago. Uh, Jacoby, uh, just we'll get right to it. I mean, what was it about Ohio State for you? I mean, the biggest thing with Ohio State is, uh, well, the biggest thing with my recruitment um, in general, I was just looking for a place that I, I felt comfortable uh, with, and I, I felt a place like it was home, and I felt at home. And it definitely was Ohio State. Um, I knew Ohio State had my best interests at heart, and uh, from then on, like me and Coach Johnson and the entire coaching staff, like Coach Day, Coach Meyer, before he uh, left, um, we had a great relationship, and, and they uh, definitely made me a top priority. And I also felt uh, like I like I fit in well with the defensive line in that, in that bold position group. Um, and I can't wait to get to work and, and uh, start working at Ohio State. Now you, Coach Day, I believe, came down and offered you initially. Is that is that right? Because Charlotte used to be part of his recruiting territory yeah. when he was an assistant. I mean, the funny thing about that is, uh, I actually remember like the exact time, exact uh, month, and everything. It was January of my sophomore year, and it actually happened to be Coach Day and Coach Meyer. So that's kind of a funny thing. Uh, being that those two guys that came and offered me. And uh, I knew from the moment then, like, and following, like, the, that following March, uh, I ended up visiting and I enjoyed it. And that was when Coach My uh, Meyer was still the head coach. But uh, from, from then on, I mean, I just felt like it was the place for me. Yeah, I mean, a lot of you guys in the 2020 class have had to go through this Urban Meyer to Ryan Day transition. Was that yeah. a little bit easier for you just because you had seen Ryan Day a little yeah. bit and he had been recruiting you a little bit? I mean, yeah, being at uh, Ohio State is not a school that uh, usually offers like, younger guys and they don't really start recruiting you until your later years. Like, for instance, sophomore year was when I got the offer and, and they pretty much offer a lot of guys uh, in that sophomore year range. But, uh, yeah, I, I guess you could say it was a smooth transition uh, being that I was familiar with Coach Day. Mm -hmm. um, Coach Meyer got mad respect and mad love for him um, and he did a great job while he was there with recruiting me. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely a smooth transition being that I was familiar with Coach Day. How's your relationship with Coach Johnson? Obviously, um, his pedigree of getting guys to the NFL is, is something that I think sells to a lot of a lot of you guys, yeah. uh, young defensive linemen. Um, just kind of talk about what, what you've seen out of him and, and your, your thoughts on him so far. I mean, uh, just honestly, uh, I just have the utmost respect for Coach Johnson uh, as a position coach. Um, he's a legendary defensive line coach, uh, known by many and respected by many. And uh, Coach Johnson was just straightforward with me. I felt like he was genuine with it, and I was definitely a priority to him. Uh, he made that clear, and he made it uh, clear also that he wanted me to come in and be one of those impact guys that make big plays like Nick Bosa, like Joey, like Chase. So I'm just ready to get to work, and I, I can't wait. And they're recruiting you to play defensive end, right? I yes, mean, you're, you're a big-bodied guy, but yeah. they, they're saying defense. I mean, kind of what have they said to you in terms of what they see out of you, kind of how they see you fitting into to the Ohio State defensive I mean, line. Throughout my entire recruitment, uh, Coach Johnson and Coach Day, the entire staff as a whole has made it clear that I'm going to play defensive end at the Ohio State University. Um, I weigh 265 right now, which is a good weight. I think I carry it well. I still move around well, um, and, and I still perform well enough to be recruited and, and, and just uh, perform going each night and, and just give it all I got. So I think like they made it clear to me that I'll be playing defensive end at the Ohio State. That was the only position he recruited me for. He, they were also recruiting my uh, teammate, Keiji Beanley Jones, and they recruited him as a defensive tackle. So uh, yeah, that's what I'll be playing. Um, have you been on any visits at all since your Ohio State official back in June? You've kind of kept a low profile. Yeah. Um, um, the only other visit I went to was the North Carolina-South Carolina game. That was at Bank of America Stadium. It was on a neutral location. So other than that, I didn't visit any other place. I uh, kind of kept it uh, cool. And uh, that uh, really was because uh, I felt like I had visited each other school, uh, my top schools, like many other times, way more than Ohio State still. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just felt that with those three times that I visited Ohio State, um, I knew it was the place for me. So I, I figured I might go ahead and get it done. Well, that's a good transition because uh, you just told me you're going to be at Ohio State here yes, tomorrow. Sir. They have a huge uh, home game, uh, blackout uh, the shoe against Michigan State. Um, obviously a huge game for both teams, especially Ohio State, uh, as they try and kind of fight for playoff position uh, earlier here in the season. Um, just what are you looking forward to about the game and kind of what are you uh, hoping to, guess, I guess, get out of this fourth trip to Ohio State? I mean, it'll be a blackout, um, so it'll be an amazing atmosphere. Um, Michigan State is a talented ball club, um, of course, being a, a premier team in the, in the Big Ten. So it'll be a tough matchup. I'm excited to see my guys get after it. Um, I know uh, practices went well in communication with Coach Johnson, Coach Day, um, and the guys are definitely excited for it, ready to get after it. So I just can't wait to get up there with the other recruits and uh, get to experience it with, their, with them and their families as well. So I'm just looking forward to it. Just last question here. You obviously, a lot of Ohio State fans will be watching this. What, you know, for those who maybe aren't as familiar with you yet or will be watching your film as they find out you've committed and everything, 
what are, what would you tell them in terms of what Ohio State's getting? What, what type of player are you, and and kind of what are you going to bring to the program? I mean, Ohio State is just getting a player with a with a motor, um, a player that goes hard uh, regardless of the circumstance, regardless of the situation. Uh, I'm a hustler. Um, I, I take pride in uh, not giving up on plays and uh, not taking plays off. So that's the biggest thing with me. Um, I, I think I can. Uh, I've improved since my freshman year, um, as far as hitting the weight room wise and uh, being able to stop the run. And I, I definitely would consider myself a, a, a great pass rusher. That, but I also need to improve in many areas as well. I'm not saying I'm a perfect player, but um, I, I do some things well, and there's some things I need to work on. So uh, I'm just waiting to uh, get up to Ohio State and, and get to working on those things. All right, Jacoby. Thank you. Appreciate it, and uh, good luck here the rest of the season. Yeah, go Bucks.